So if you've ever went to school, you probably had those days when your teacher just wasn't feeling it, you know? Or they had to do something important, like watch the FNAF movie. So they would call in a substitute teacher to teach the class. Oh my god, what was that voice crack? And let me just tell you, a few substitutes I've had were definitely not very qualified, to say the least. But today we're going to talk about that time when we caught our substitute under the influence of alcohol. Enter fifth grade, it was near winter break and our old ELA teacher was retiring. And while the school was in the process of hiring a new one, we had a substitute teacher. And for now, let's call her Miss Pomegranate. No pomegranates! No, 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 no pomegranates! We had her for three days, so let's start with the first day. We walk into the class, sit down, and she tells us to read some assigned pages out of our textbook and discuss it in our group. So we do exactly as she says because she looks like she wants to throw hands. But for some reason, she thought our group was talking especially loud, and she starts yapping about how she can hear us across the room. Meanwhile, the table behind us was way louder. Wanna know something funny? She moves her chair from her desk to one of the groups in the corner and starts having a loud conversation with them about the military or something. I'm not even joking. To this day, I still don't get what this had to do with dolphins, but okay, you do you, I guess. Once again, we walk into class and Miss Pomegranate tells us to read the exact same thing she told us to read yesterday. I didn't even try to ask about it because I already knew what she might say. Soon she does the exact same thing that she did on day one, go to that one group in the corner. Apparently this day, some kids sitting in that group brought some World War II artifacts for some reason. Until me and my friends in my group start talking about a helmet we got to look at, and we get the whole I can hear you across the room thing again, but of course, if that one group does the same thing, it's alright. Some other weird thing about this day was that someone walked up to ask a genuine question, and Miss Pomegranate responded with, Shut up, I don't like you. If you have beef with a fifth grader, I actually don't know what to say to you. Who has the audacity to do that? Alright, by this day, we knew something was up. Obviously, no real human acts like this normally. And what backed this up even more was the fact that we spotted a wine glass with a suspicious dark red liquid in it. I'm pretty sure that's wine. Is that wine? Yep, that's wine. That kind of looks like the battle pack. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looks like the battle pack. Only one way to find out. Okay, I didn't chug the whole thing obviously, but I turn around and wouldn't you know it? Miss Pomegranate was forcing someone to read a poem about her dead dog. Um, I think I'll just end it right here. Long story short, she got reported and fired and we never saw her again. Or did we? I can hear you across the room.